Hi everyone, welcome back to Come Paint With Me. I'm Norma, and I haven't been here in a while. Ugh, kind of makes me upset, but I had a lot going on. I did some painting for a neighbor, and I had some trouble with my knee, so I had to go to physical therapy, and that's twice a week. Man, that just takes it out of you. And then my daughter got married, and then my other daughter had surgery, so I had to go take care of her during the day. So, I decided that tonight was the night, regardless of whether it is too dark. And let me just turn on my lights. There, that's... It's better for me anyway, I hope you can see. Now, this is a scraped canvas. Uh, because I tried to do this particular project systematically and it I'm not I just don't have the talent yet yet um to make free form things I'm still working on the feather technique or the the leaf technique or but I don't I don't necessarily think I need it um this is for my bathroom guest bathroom upstairs and I'll try and put a picture in picture here so you can see the shower curtain I'm talking about so I was trying to do a leafy kind of look but I think it would be too much the same anyway although it's never going to be the same because it's not going to be like that um, but I couldn't get there so first thing I want to show you is my levelers Etsy um, you can see where they roll up and down so far they've been pretty good I I think I might like a wider top on them which I think she has some of those too which I wasn't aware when I bought these but um, Every little bit helps, you know. Um, it's just moving the canvas around. Sometimes they fall off, they're, they tip over, they're, they're not really weighted. They're made by a 3D printer, so they're plastic and pretty light. But let's see how they do on this painting. Now, the colors, I cannot give you uh, paint colors because I have mixed three different colors together to get what paint I'm using and I'll tell you I, I don't really know ugh, I don't really know if I've got the right paint color down but then when I think about it I think oh maybe I should add this so that's what I just did added a little bit of a green metallic I got two greens in here I got um, metallic leaf green I got sap green and I just put a little bit of this bright emerald green in here to kind of lighten it up I may have put some a little dash of Mars black in here to darken it a little bit and now I'm trying to lighten it back up so and I don't have a lot of it I hope it's enough for the painting we'll see and um, they did the same with the blue. It is metallic blue and iridescent blue green. That's by Pebio. And it's just, I kind of got a wash of it in there. Um, and then I mixed up some iridescent violet, which you can see in that picture that there is a little bit of violet in there. Um, this does look awfully dark, but I'm going to hope that the white's going to brighten everything up. So let's give it a shot. Uh, the background, um, the walls in this bathroom and the tile is beige. So I'm going to try a little something with beige in the background. Okay, let's uh, cross our fingers. Here we go. I always need to make sure before I start pouring that I'm still recording because that has happened to me before. Apparently, I've already filled my phone up, so I had to go through and delete a bunch of stuff. Okay. 
and I am still I'm still um, recording so let me spread this out a little bit and I'll speed you up so you don't have to watch this sometimes it's painful to watch the slow parts so here we go What I did was the last time, gosh, I don't know if I want to do this or not. Gosh, I'm, I'm worried. I, I did lighten this last time, so maybe I should do that. So this comes up like it's just really a, an off white color. And it does have some of this in the background. It's not exactly a white shower curtain which the last time I did this and it didn't work out was I mixed up a cup of this and just made the background the ivory color muted parchment but um, I, I don't um, I didn't want to do all of it that way because I think I'm not getting the right colors So, I did a little bit of moving around, and I can see that there's not a lot of paint on there to move around. So, let me get my blower, and I'm just going to try and blow it around a little bit. this before where I've kind of mixed colors together but we're gonna try it that way and then I don't have a pattern of which I want to lay it down by but we're gonna give it a try I'm so sorry my microphone did not come on now it's on I don't know if that makes a difference but I'm still recording so that's good and I think I'm just going to lay it down the middle. So here goes. And then maybe I'm just going to do a little line like this. I don't really have a big enough canvas to do that to, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, now here's the green. That blue almost looks like it's a, got a little bit of teal in it, but I did not use the teal. Okay, now here goes the interference. Um, Violet. Let's see what I can get. Oh, 
All right. That is as much as I want to put on there for right now. And we'll see how this turns out. And we'll see if... Um, if I, if I need to adjust anything. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to stop because they say stop and then fix. And I love the way this turned out. I love that there's a little bit of white in it. I love the little tan in it. The one thing I didn't put in it that I wanted to put in it was the gold. So now I can't put that in. It's too late. Yeah, this is this is nice. I do like when it goes off, but so I need to go off there and there, there and there. I, I think it looks beautiful. Oh yeah, well I'm not sure that is the perfect colors for it but look at that interference violet in there that's just what I wanted and as the cells are those little tiny ones I really didn't want the little tiny ones I wanted the bigger ones but I guess you can't dictate that I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little torch I gotta stop because this is um this is great. I like how it's small down here, and then it kind of grows up there. I, I can't really make it bigger down here. So, use my bamboo, bamboo skewer, which I like to remind everybody, if you're not used to this paint method, this is really important. Having your canvas level is number one important. And then I would say the next thing is to make sure your drips are pulled off the bottom. It will continue to pull your paint off of the canvas because of the weight. Okay, I'm happy with it. I hope everybody else is. Now, let me get these gloves off so I don't get it all over my phone and I will bring you down so you can see the wet result. Okay, let me turn on my my flash so we can see if you can see any shimmer and I can see it but because I didn't put the gold in there, I don't see a lot of it. But once I think once it gets varnished, it is, it's going to pick it up. But look at that. That's just, look at this up here. And that's just awesome. So pretty, as Canilla would say. Ooh, I'm tickled to death. I love it. And I love the little swirl 
of the tan in there because that's in the background of the shower curtain. Love it. Okay. I'm keep busy uh, editing this and posting it. Hopefully it'll dry in a couple of days and I will um, be able to do another one. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe over here. <laughs> um, and uh, hit the bell, make it switch to all so you can be notified in your email when I post another one. And hopefully that will be very soon because I need to get back on this. Please check out my other videos as well. Um, my first one was a lot of instruction and I certainly continue to do that just because I like it when I'm looking at a video of someone else's and they explain what they're doing and how they're doing it because sometimes watching it just isn't enough. So, okay, thanks for stopping in. You guys have a great day. Bye.